Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree and welcome to the assembly video for our jointed Mrs. Easter Bunny. And I have everything cut out here in front of me. I just got done putting together Mr. and he came out great. Now Mrs. obviously has, um, she's got a fancier little getup. So there's definitely a, a few more pieces uh, when it comes to putting her together, but nothing that we can't tackle. So let's hop right in. And just like we did with Mr., we're gonna start with um, their, well, their arms and legs. So this one that I'm picking up right now, this is the left hand and arm. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this white piece. The white is gonna get glued to this pink piece. And most of that is uh, to kind of double it up so it's a little bit thicker while also adding, uh, well, just an extra little bit of pink to the piece. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop that right on there, nice and flush, just line it up like so. And on any of the white pieces here, I did hit the white, the visible white parts with a little bit of brown or like a tan color, a light brown. Okay, so that applies to the face here uh, as well as the feet and the hands. Okay, next we're gonna take this piece here and pop that right on top like so. She's got a fancy dress on, just getting ready for Easter Sunday. And as I mentioned in the previous video, I think this would be a good one uh, for kids. Definitely, I'd probably say five or older, if I had to guess. There are some uh, there are some younger kids that have the dexterity to do this, so by all means, you know, it's it doesn't hurt to try. And I mean, it might need to use a glue stick instead of a, a bottle like this, and that's fine. Okay, but there is the left arm. Actually, we have one other thing too. She's got a she's got a little bracelet on there, a little beaded bracelet. We got to get that in place as well. And wherever I could, I did add some inking. So, you know, whatever's visible. If you want to hit it with a little bit of ink, you should. All right, so we'll put that off to the side. We're going to grab the other hand, the other arm. Now, the other arm is actually holding a little bouquet of flowers. So just like we did with the first one, we've got that layer first. The white is going on top of that. So let's get that going. Get that glued into place, like so. And pop that right on there. There we go. Make sure you line it up as accurately as you can. Mine was a smidge off, that's okay. All right, next, we're gonna go with this layer here, the actual floral pattern. Let's get that in place. And just go easy with the glue. You don't wanna cake it with too much glue because you'll be sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting for everything to dry. And that is not fun. Nobody likes to do that. Okay, next we're gonna put this on right there. This is actually out of a, this looks like that POW glitter, which is I think like a fake glitter. I actually like that better because it doesn't get all messy everywhere. Okay, that's gonna go right there like so. Just like that, beautiful. And then, of course, we've got another little bracelet on the other side. Just a few little dots of glue will do. And pop that right in there. Okay. And now, um, the floral part of this, it's this guy here. Uh, let me put this somewhat together. So we've got the pink part. Then we're gonna do the yellow. Then we're gonna do the green. What is that piece there? And put the green piece in there. Uh, let's see here, what part of that green? Yeah, you know, I've done this a few times today where uh, there's, I've done so much inking on this project that I did miss a few little spots. So I'm gonna clean that up. Uh, and then we've got a little white piece that's gonna go on top of this for the hand, because we want it to look like it's, want it to look like she's holding this bouquet, which is a nice little touch. 
All right, but let's, let's just jump right in here. And again, this is the bottom piece. We're gonna start by gluing this yellow pattern piece down to that piece. Okay, there's a lot of little piecing here, but nothing that you, you can't tackle, especially if you've done some of our more complex projects. This one is, this one's a cakewalk. Okay, so just line that up, match it up with the existing little layer there. And I think I did that totally wrong. Line it up with the stems, obviously. There we go. That looks more like it. Okay, so line that up with the stems. Make sure those are in place and the rest of it will kind of fall into place like so. All right, next, we're gonna take this green piece and we're gonna glue that right on top of the yellow. Get that glue flowing. Okay, right there, just match it up. That's where a little fist is gonna be. And mine's a tad bit off. Still have time, there we go. Yeah, that's where her little hand's gonna go. Okay, so now uh, we have this little blue piece, this little blue guy is actually gonna go right down here, okay? So throw a little dot of glue on the handle. This is the stem. And it's gonna go right there, like that. And then up here, we've got this tiny little guy. That's gonna go right in there like a little puzzle piece. Okay, let's get our glue going there. Very simple. And just pop that right into place. There we go. And then we have a purple flower. This guy's gonna go right here, like a little puzzle piece as well. Should fit perfectly. So we have three different colored flowers. And I think that these colors on the flowers actually complement parts of her dress too. Isn't that fancy? All right, so pop that right into place. There we go. And then finally, we have this piece here. It's gonna go right there. And again, that's her little fist. We'll just get that glued into place. Very simple. There we go. And then it's up to you here if you want. <coughs> if you want, you can glue this down. You'll notice that on the hand here, there's markers to help you with positioning just like that okay i think let me see yep just like that it's going to go up a little bit doesn't okay so you can either glue that down flat there's plenty of dimension there or if you want you can uh, give it a little extra dimension by putting a little foam square right in that spot and then popping that on there so it really looks like just very, very dimensional, just like that, okay? So other arm is done. That one was a little bit more work, obviously, because we had to do the flowers, but let's do the arm, or let's do the legs and the feet, okay? So you'll have four pieces like this. I only inked two of them, because it's kind of pointless to ink the layer that's underneath, but we wanna match these up accordingly, and then we'll go ahead and glue them to the corresponding piece. Again, this is mostly just to make this thing a little thicker so that it lasts longer. And again, with this one, I did hit this with a little bit of brown ink. There we go. That one's done. Moving over to the next one. Get our glue going. There we go. And pop that one right on there. Just match it up as accurately as you can. There we go, okay, so those are done. We can put those off to the side. And now let's do the feet. Similar to our male counterpart here, when we put these on, you obviously wanna match up the little hole there, and then you're gonna have a shadow, the pink part on where the toes are and at the bottom. Okay, so it's not centered like that. It is kind of, it is flush with the top. So let's get that glued down. Okay, and then we'll work on the hat next. And finally, the actual body of our cute little bunny. 
All right, so that's together, perfect. Put that off to the side. Same thing with the other one. We're gonna see the pink part pop out by the toes and at the bottom of the foot, but it's gonna be flush at the top. I think the mosquitoes are back. Oh boy, don't ever wanna hear that. Okay, there we go. So that's done. Put that off to the side. Now, this is the brim of her hat. We do need to assemble that. Okay, we've got a little bit of hair poking out of there. And now I'm rhyming. Uh, I'm gonna take and actually place the uh, little hair part between my finger and the dowel. Just kind of curl it towards me, just to make it a little more interesting. And then we're gonna take this piece and glue it right onto that section there. This will ultimately get pop dotted or foam squared for some additional dimension on the hat. Try to add as much dimension as we can without making it too crazy. Obviously you can tell also with this, I inked this with a nice purple color just to bring out that purple. Okay, there we go. And on top of the hat is a little 3D flower. Okay. And uh, it's made up of two different colored leaves. And then we also have uh, a flower portion. So what we're going to do is take this. I also inked this with a little bit of blue. Okay. And if you want, what you can do is take and pinch the tips of these just to make them a little more dimensional, especially this guy here. Take that and pinch it like that, okay? So, and then this guy's gonna be, we're gonna take this one here and just glue it. You can tell that there's a little uh, circle, kind of like a half circle there, and there's also some markers to help you get that properly aligned. Um, if it's not perfectly aligned, this is such a minor part of the project that I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. But if you wanna make it as seen, and we've got the markers there for you. Now, as far as the petals go, I'm gonna take and place each petal between my finger and the dowel, lift it up about 90 degrees, and then run the dowel through. Okay, and that's gonna curl the very ends, the edges of the flower, just kind of bring them to life and make them a little more dimensional. Uh, I'm gonna take and place a little bit of glue right into the center on that little circle. And let's try to center our flower there as well. And maybe offset it like that. And then we're gonna take and we're gonna actually glue this to this part of the hat. And we want it right about, say right about there. Okay, just like that. And this little leaf We'll have them pointing right about there. So uh, actually, you know what? I just realized there are some markers there as well. Let me see how those, yeah. So you've got a little marker that you can use there uh, to kind of guide you. I'm gonna put just a little drop of glue on that little circle there and we'll pop that right into place using that little marker as somewhat of a guide. Okay, there we go. All right, so the hat's done. I'm gonna add a little rhinestone to the center of the flower after the, after the fact here. Uh, but now what we can do is start taking a look. Uh, you know what, before we do that, she does have a little bow. Okay, here's the bow, and then there's this little middle piece that goes in there. I thought, thought I had everything, but apparently I missed that. So my apologies. We'll get that done real quick. Boy, she is really done up. Definitely wearing her Sunday best. Very cute design. All right, so I did sort of lay this out uh, just so I get a better idea of where and how things work, okay? But we're gonna start with the largest layers here. These you can tell, is, as you work your way up the project, the pieces get smaller, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now this, this is our main back layer, okay? And this is going right on top like so. And there's just a few little spots that are shown through. And again, um, this was intended to help us make this a little more sturdy as well. So let's get the glue flowing here on this piece. And we have to work somewhat quickly because we've got a lot of area to cover. Um, so kind of move as quick as you can. I'm just kind of doing my little circular motion here and then we've got some little scalloped areas at the bottom we've got to get those once we place this down if we do see that there are some areas that maybe are lifting up or are just not sitting as flat as we want them there's ways to fix that 
And if we happen to encounter it, I will share it. Most of you already know what I'm talking about. It involves painting the glue on using a scrap piece of paper. So you're always welcome to do that if things don't go according to plan, which, I mean, it's life. I think we're pretty much used to that happening, but I think we're gonna be okay here. All right, so that part is in place. And just looking around, everything seems to be holding very well. So I'll just keep on cruising here. All right, uh, next layer is this guy here. Okay, and that's gonna go on top like so, just like that. Okay. So let's get the glue going here on this piece. Yeah, and I actually have to, um, you know, this is my first time making this. I, I mentioned that in a lot of my videos, believe it or not. Once, uh, once Ron designs everything and Diana converts it into an SVG and does her magic, um, get everything cut out, and it's literally my first time putting it together. So I, before I start, kind of go through everything mentally so that I can give you the proper instruction. But I think that if you did the same thing, if you were to cut this out, even without a video, I think you could do it especially if you've been working with our files for quite some time, you kind of just get it um, eventually. You know, you get a better idea of how everything is structured, how everything works. And um, so, yeah, anyway, just focus and, and take your time and have fun, most importantly. All right, so next we're putting this layer on. Okay, so that's going to go on like that. And as you can see here, that last piece was to thicken it up and also for that little section there. So get this going. And I think probably about 30 minutes or so to get Mrs. Bunny all done here. Not including the time to cut, but uh, that's fun too, especially if you got a Cricut, lays out all your mats for you. And you can walk away half the time and do other things. Just come back and put the next section down and cut it and before you know it, yeah, there is a mosquito in here, believe it or not. That's not a good sign. Okay, there we go. That's nice and centered now. Okay, now while we're here, uh, let's see. Is a good time to do this? No, not yet. Let's put this white part on next. Okay, so now we're really getting into the actual Mrs. Bunny here put that down. There's a little collar that I was thinking about putting down, but actually when we put this part down, it'll help us with the alignment. So I'm going to do this first. Again, try to get that perimeter nice and thin on the glue. Don't overdo it because otherwise, like I said, less is more, especially with pieces like this where, you know, it's pretty light. You don't need a whole ton of glue to get pieces like this to stick. Just very easy on the glue is all you really need. All right, so now that we got this piece in here, we can actually take and we can install the, the collar. Just get that glued down. You can see exactly where that goes. Okay, so let's do that real quick. You can put glue on this entire thing, nice and easy. There we go. And you can see this little scallop here in the center. That's right there. Just match that up. Get it nice and centered. There we go, beautiful. Okay, there's also this little glittery piece. That's like a little puzzle. That's gonna go right in there as well. Okay, let's get that in place. Might as well, we're kind of in the vicinity. May as well get that part going, okay? All right, so let's get that in place. There we go. Okay, you know what, while we're here, may as well uh, finish up the dress. The next piece we're going to put on, in my case, is this turquoise polka dot pattern. And that's going to go right there, like so. So let's get that glued into place. And then we've got some little purple, it's actually like a glittery, gl <laughs> glittery trim piece. So I'll pop that in place. And then, um, yeah, I mean, we're kind of on the home stretch here. There's not much left. As you guys have seen, with the previous jointed figures are pretty self-explanatory. And actually, I think each time we've released them, um, there's always a few people that have made these 
even before the video goes live the next day, the assembly video. Okay, so that goes there. And then we've got this little trim piece. It's gonna go right up at the top. Obviously, you can see that we need to match up the little holes where the brads go. So that's pretty self-explanatory too. So I guess what I'm saying is that there's visual cues you know, throughout the project that would, uh, you know, if observed, would get you through this project probably without a video. I'm not saying that we're going to stop making videos. No, it's one of my favorite things to do. So, but I'm just saying, I think you got to just give yourself more credit for what you can do. Uh, oh, by the way, we also have this little piece. I think this is a good time to get this glued down. That's also like a it's like a little puzzle piece that fits right in there and that should not and will not obstruct anything else that we're doing. So I'm kind of going out of order here with that, but I just saw it and I thought, well, let's get it in place here. So I'll just pop that right in there, like a little puzzle. Beautiful. All right, so now we gotta get our belt in place. Can't complete the look without the belt. So you'll notice that there's a little bit of a, a cutout here we want the part that's not cut out up. Obviously that wouldn't work anyway. It looks kind of weird and doesn't fit. So let's start with this. Again, it's kind of looping or, or bending downward. Whoops, there we go. And there's little shadow areas there on both sides where you just need to match those up to get that in the right spot. And then we'll take our white circle and we'll get that glued right on top of the little belt buckle. Okay, pop that right there, just like that. She is styling, if I do say so myself. Fancy little bunny. All right, next uh, we can put this piece on. Okay, and let me see here. You know what, I just realized that this little section here could probably use a little bit of ink. So I'm just gonna do that while I can. And before I put the next top layer down, that way I don't, if I do accidentally blemish something, uh, I won't put pink on brown. Yeah, and you know, along the way, if you, you notice that you maybe missed a spot as far as the inking, it's never too late. Now be cautious because you know, in some predicaments, um, you may end up kind of uh, walking on the wild side, especially if you're using a dark colored ink and you're inking near some white. So just proceed with caution, just be alert, you know, be aware of what's going on so that you don't accidentally make a mistake that you have to go and correct. All right, so this is going on right here. Just cover that right on top where the existing ears are. Get it nice and centered, beautiful. We need to adjust that slightly. There we go, okay. And this bunny's got a lot more layers going on here, but that looks great, okay. So that's that. Now, uh, what was I gonna do next? Oh yeah, we can actually, this is gonna get uh, zotted, okay. So I'm gonna use a foam square, and this is actually gonna go, where's that gonna go? Oh yeah, you can see there's a little line right there. Okay, that's where we need to put this. And you can tell here that this is gonna kind of meet this section here. Okay, so you can kind of, it's almost like we're seeing the inside of her hat there. So I can actually flip this over now. Might as well get it out of the way. And we'll do a foam square. You know what, let's just pop a foam square right here, just below that little line. I think that's the perfect spot for it. And then we can take this, line that up, with that little line up on top. And then I'm using my fingers here to kind of feel and make sure that it's right on top of that curve. Okay. There we go. And you know what I'm gonna do actually? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this off. Whoops, hopefully that, no, it should be fine. I ripped a little bit of paper off. I just realized that I need some more uh, foam squares on there because it's not sitting very flat. So make sure you do that. Let me put some out to the side. I was getting a little crazy because with Mr. Bunny, I only used, I think, two foam squares right in the center. And that seemed to have done the job just fine. 
But with this, I think it is helpful to have the two on the side. That way we can really keep it exactly where we want it. And that looks a lot better. There we go. Okay. Moving on here to the last, last little bit um, is just her face. So we've got to put her face together. We've got to put her face on. And what I would suggest doing here um, with the actual eye portion is you'll notice that there are a series of little score marks there. Get those lined up. And before you commit, and I think this situation is a little bit different because with Mr. Bunny, I put his eyes on the wrong way. And I, I mentioned that in the last video, but the, uh, the black parts here are both in the center, okay? So let's get these in place and throw just a few little dots of glue on this, maybe a few on the eyelashes. Go very easy with this. And if you happen to put too much on there, just hit that with your finger a tiny bit just to thin out the glue so that uh, it doesn't come squirting out. The little eyelashes are going to end up on top of the previous brown layer there. So that is by design. Okay, it doesn't, if you're worried about that, don't worry about it. You know, you maybe thought, oh no, is that in the right spot? But you had it. Okay. So there's the other one. Now we have these little pieces here. They're gonna go right to the left of the black part of the eye. Just to give her some nice blue eyes. And that again, like I said, just fits like a little puzzle piece right in there. Just press that down. Do the same thing with the other side. And get that in place. Whoa. Yeah, see, I knew I had way too much glue on there. So if you have that, don't just pop it in place and, you know, leave a mess. Pull some of that off with your finger so you don't get it all over, the, especially on the black um, that shows up a lot. I know it says it dries clear, but yeah, it's not that great when you see. It's got like a, a kind of a shiny little residue that's left behind. All right, I'm putting the nose in place now like so. Obviously, you know where that's going. Okay, and then let's grab the mouth. And we do have a little set of markers for the mouth as well. Uh, the little top here, this little point, that's gonna touch the nose basically. And then these two little markers are gonna go, I'm gonna point to it here, right in this little area here, where this and the actual mouth join, this little corner that's where those little markers should end up if you're using them as a reference. Okay, so I'm gonna go easy on the glue here as well. Nice and easy. Again, use those markers. Use the center of the nose as well. We want her to have a nice symmetrical face. And I had a little bit of glue on there. Just rub that off. Okay, now here is the uh, little mouth and I think I just have to put this on so I can show you. Uh, the bottom is less curved, okay? And the top is almost like a, I guess it's almost like a half circle. I'd say maybe a third of a circle. And then the bottom part is a little bit flatter. It's not quite completely flat, but it's pretty darn close, okay? And then we do have some little teeth for Mrs. Bunny. And I'll just take and pop that right at the top of the mouth where that little, almost looks like the top of a little tent. Just that little point and press that into place, okay? So there she is, she's a beauty. She's a cutie. Okay. All right, next we do have uh, this little bow that we need to glue down. I wanna do that now and kind of hold on to it until we got the mouth and everything in place. Uh, but let's get some glue on that. I guess if you want to um, add a foam square to the bow, you could. Let's see why not. But either way, she goes right there, like so. And that's really it for that. So now it's time to put everything together. Um, we got here. I'm gonna use a nice light green for this part. That's cute. Pop that right through, flip it over, and spread the little brads apart. Okay, let's get her left arm. Pop the brad through, pop it through this hole, flip it over, 
spread them apart. There we go. Yeah. Hey, she's a cutie. She is a cutie. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go on to the uh, legs and we're going to do uh, these two or the sides that have two of the uh, little ruffles there. there. We want those on the outside. There's one on the inside, two on the outside. Okay. And that, because it's on purple, it might as well, if you have them, use a purple brad. Um, if you don't have purple brads, if you just have regular brads, you can always paint them, which I actually did because um, I didn't have any white brads. I had to paint some white ones for the feet for Mr. and Mrs. Bunny. So I did that. That's always possible. You don't have to go ordering a bunch of stuff. If you have some paint handy, why not? Okay. And actually here, I'll show you. I just stuck a couple of uh, the regular colored ones into some styrofoam and took some acrylic paint and just painted them with a tiny little brush and just painted them. It was not a big deal at all. I actually took a few seconds. Hopefully it's dry. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay. And the cool thing is you can, if you paint your own, I've done this a handful of times now, um, you can actually take, you know, a piece of the paper that you're applying it to and really match that color by, uh, you know, adding or adding different colors, adding maybe white if you want to make it brighter, adding a little bit of black if you want to make it darker. It's, it's kind of fun actually making your own paint colors. Okay. But there are the feet. I'm going to press those down really good. And what am I missing? I think that's it actually. Um, yeah, you know what it is. And the only thing left is we've got, um, we can throw a cute little rhinestone right here in the center of the bow. It might maybe make that a little bit smaller. I don't know if I have anything smaller than that. Um, and then see what else, uh, obviously, oh yeah, need a little, just a little rhinestone here on the flower. Uh, it probably would go with a nice, maybe I thought I have a deep purple. There we go. That looks nicer just to complement the hat. And oh, by the way, and if you want, we did this for Mr. Bunny. Uh, you can add some little whiskers. And what I would do is you just draw two little circles, um, just slightly uh, away from each other. Like, let me see if I can actually measure this for you so I can give you more accurate information. I'd say it's about a quarter, a quarter of an inch apart. And then just like a bowling ball set up, put that head pin there. And then on a scrap piece of paper, just practice making a whisker, just a nice quick little soft stroke. And you can add a little more curve to it if you want, uh, you know, before you actually do this on your project practice. Okay. Just like that. So I'm going to go up here and just to the right of the mouth, I'm going to start with the one circle, go down about a quarter inch, do the next one and then set up the bowling pin just like that. Okay. We'll do that here. One, two and three. Okay. And then before I go live here, just practice my whisker a few more times. And the other side, I'm going to actually practice it the other way. So here we go. Just like that. And now on this side, I'm going to go from right to left. So let me practice that stroke a few times, kind of get some kind of a muscle memory going. You can tell that going that way is a little bit different. And I think I'm ready to go. One, two, three whiskers. There you go. Just like that. Very simple. Um, yeah. And that's going to do it for, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Easter bunny. Whoa. I got to glue those down, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Uh, and if you make this or anything from our new bundle, I would love to see it. And so would the rest of our community. So go ahead and visit, uh, your Facebook and do a search for dreaming tree group, or you can just type in this little URL here that you see at the bottom of your screen. So anyway, I had a blast. I'm going to hop over to the next project and I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did check out some of our other videos and also please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.